So I made a video last week of some collectible fireworks that I picked out from PGI, and it was in a tote that looks a lot like this. And in that video, I asked you guys to give me feedback on whether or not you want to see more of my collectible fireworks stash. And I received a lot of positive feedback, and so I've got really good news for you guys. We are just going to cover my entire collectible fireworks stash, and I don't care how long it takes to do it. These videos, don't worry, we're only going to do like one every two weeks. But until the collection is completely covered, we will not stop doing these videos. So this is officially the second installment of Cody's Collectible Fireworks Stash, part two. So last time we did an unboxing of a tote just about the same size as this one, and that was all of my stuff from PGI. Uh, my collection is pretty out of order, but I do have certain things sorted like bottle rockets and firecrackers. Um, within this tote, there are actually three other Tupperware containers. I guess the one on the top you could consider a tote. But we're going to go through all three of these today and show you what I got. And just remember, a lot of this stuff in here is extremely unorganized. So I wouldn't be surprised if we just have a ton of random stuff in each one of these little Tupperware containers. Without any further ado, we're going to open up the tote and take a look at the first one here on the top. So before we get into this thing, I want to give you guys a quick reminder as to what I mean by collectible fireworks. For me, I'm only referencing things that I enjoy collecting. These items may carry no value whatsoever, but to me, I like to have them. And also in this fireworks stash series that I've got coming up, this is only the second installment, but you guys should know that these fireworks are probably never going to be lit off and they're just going to sit in these totes until the end of time. However, I want to try to take a couple things out of each tote that we do in these videos and shoot them off. So at the end of this video, stay tuned because a few of the items you see during these unboxings, we are going to test out. So starting off, it looks like we have a bunch of non-fuse items. And what that means is none of these fireworks require you to light a fuse for them to go off. Got a bunch of these hand grenades here, um, which we will be testing out one pack of those. These are by Black Scorpion brand. They're pretty cool because unlike pull string smoke grenades, these actually explode. You can see the warning there says explosive. So we got a handful of those. Uh, these are pretty cool. These might actually have some value to them. I picked these up in Wyoming and they appear to be pretty old. I did some of them a long time ago on the channel. Uh, and look at that. We do have a pack of these things that isn't full. So we're gonna tear one of these off up here and actually show you what these matches do because it's a lot like a sparkler, but instead of it actually being a sparkler, it's a match. And so when you strike it, it kind of puts off some sparkles. So we'll be doing a pack of those too. Uh, then we've got a bunch of these Joker string bombs by Phantom Fireworks, but they're using the old logo and that's why I kept them. Then we got a pack of these cigarette loads. I don't think these are old, but they might be banned because when you put these things in a cigarette, and light it, it kind of explodes, and I can't imagine that's very safe. So these were probably discontinued, and that's why I held on to them. We've got a pack of star caps here. Uh, I don't think these are old either. I just kind of wanted to pick them up. I found them at a gas station, so. Anyway, then we've got two of these bang toilet seats. Um, not really sure why I picked these up. I don't even know if this is a firework. <laughs> I'm an idiot. So anyway, we got those. And then we have some pulling fireworks, otherwise known as booby traps. And these are a classic item. There's a string on either side of the firecracker. And when you pull it, it goes off. So it's very cool. I got a bunch of uh, random packs of those. And there's a ton more in the bottom. I actually got an entire brick of them too. And these are by Legend Fireworks. I picked these up at Star. Um, never really had a brick of these to begin with. So I figured why not pick it up, throw it in the collection. Got a bunch of these sliders here too. These are very interesting items. You put them on concrete and run your shoe over them and they kind of scramble around on the ground while shooting out some crackling stars. They're super cool, definitely a unique item and that's why I like to have a few in the collection. So we got a bunch of those. These I've had since I was probably 10 years old. I actually picked these up in Wisconsin when I still lived in Minnesota at the time. These are by Thundercat brand fireworks. And these are a lot like the pull string fireworks here, except, you know, we've got this guy on the front and this guy as well. Uh, the interesting thing is the year before I got these, they actually came with a fuse. So it was a real firecracker device. And I haven't been able to find those since. So if any of you guys can point me in the right direction to find the ones with a fuse, please let me know because I've always wanted to find them. Uh, we got two more packs of the hand grenades. 
the pull string hand grenades, but these are by a different brand. And it looks like um, the brand might be covered up by that sticker. But yeah, lots of fun here. And they say flammable on the back. However, um, don't think, don't go thinking that these are smoke bombs. It is explosive. Okay, moving on, we've got Rub It Crackle, which is the same thing as this in a different packaging. I like to get as many different brands of these things as I can. We've got more Jokers. Uh, these are hand blasters, which are a lot of fun. You get these two balls and you smash them together and they make a pop. Uh, something I used when I was a kid. I was happy when I found them again, I think at an antique store. Makes me feel old. <laughs> but we've got more ground smashers here, which again, they're the same thing as these. And I think that's going to wrap it up for the stuff I had in this tote. The rest is all just here at the bottom. And it's just a bunch of those pull string booby trap items. So anyway, these are all my non-fuse firework collectibles. Um, I'm sure we've got more hidden away in the collection that we'll show you in another video. But I'm going to put these two items aside for later on. And now let's show you the other tote. So the next container is a lot smaller than the last one. And it looks like these are all individual single shot items. Now, I do remember that in my collection, I have an entire tote dedicated to these things, but they're in packs. So these are the ones that I have in singles. So these are just a single shot firework device that goes up into the air and either has a report or a crackle. Okay. So, oh my God, we have a lot here. Uh, this one's Happy Spring. This one's Catherine's Catapult. I've got six packs of everything you're seeing right now. These are just the individual ones. I got a Tommy gun. Um, I've got another Tommy gun here. We've got Lightning Rods. We've got Sammy's Best. Shot in the Dark, which is a little bit unique because you actually stick that in the ground instead of it being on a base like these. So this is a lot of fun. And then we have Zack Attack. We've got an older one here called Sky Busters with no base on it. So the thing just, um, it's, it's actually a missile. So you light this on the ground, it spins, goes up in the air and has a report. We've got a few more items like that coming in future videos. This right here is the Double Voice Specialty. I have no idea what it does. I think it is a single shot report. Then we've got the red and green. We've got Sudden Thunder. We've got Ring Thunder. Ring Thunder Ones. Looks like we have a Barber Pole. Then we have another Sammy's Best. We have Zack Attack. Okay, this is when we get into duplicates here. We've got Spring Fountain. There's two versions of these things. So I have the original version and the new version, which I'll tell you right now is a lot quieter than the old version. We got another Tommy Gun. We have this thing, Triple Bangs. So this actually has three reports instead of one. We have a really old one here called Flashing Thunder. Check that thing out, pretty cool. Probably the oldest one I have in this particular container. We have another Double Voice. Uh, this thing here, another Triple Bangs. We've got three more Tommy Guns. Correction, we have four. Uh, then we have a Bam Bam Tube, which is a double report. Then we've got King Tut here. That's a bit of an older one as well. We have a Double Trouble missing the base. I do have a pack of these in another tote somewhere that has the bases on them. We have another Bam Bam tube here. We've got the one inch Bling Fountain. Then we got another Spring Fountain. And we have the Nordic Thunderball with crackling, pretty cool. And we got another one of those, but in green. So we have red and green. And that is all I've got to show you today as far as single shots go. And now it's time to look at the last container. Okay, so this last container here looks like we're actually going to have some vintage, real collectible fireworks in it. Um, starting up here, a lot of this stuff is pretty fragile and I don't know why it's so randomized in this container, but we're gonna start over here with Camellia Flower. That's an old pack there. What was the brand on this thing? I think it was Flower Basket. Yeah, I believe it's Flower Basket, but anyway, that's what that looks like. And we've got another pack right here. Um, this thing here, it looks like it's open. Yeah, so these are Zenith DOT Class C helicopters. They spin up in the air with a nice little report. They look like that. I've only got two of them in this package. Um, not sure why. I don't even remember picking these up, actually. So then we've got, it looks like three of these things called the jumping wheel. 
And so I assume the thing spins around and kind of jumps up and down while it's doing it. Pretty cool, they're definitely old. That's another one by Flower Basket. Uh, these I found at a garage sale and I had to get them. So these are cap rockets. Um, remember that thing we did a video on a couple days ago? It's pretty much the same concept, but look at how old this thing is. And it is a plastic rocket. Luckily the guy had two of them, so I was able to pick up two for the collection. This thing here is pretty old. It is DOT Class C Common Fireworks from Roswell, New Mexico. Rarely do you see any state names or towns for that matter on a firework that's made in China. But this, um, this here was Longhorn Manufacturing Company in Roswell, New Mexico. So is this made in the USA? I don't know. It's a brilliant whistling fountain called Night Howler. Pretty cool. I imagine that is like a Piccolo Pete on steroids. Then we have the Lawn Light. That's pretty interesting. TW Hand Fireworks Co. Toronto, Canada. I don't even know how I got my hands on this, but it looks cool. <laughs> anyway, uh, then we have the Colored Aviation Lamp by Horse Brand. That's another one of the older brands. As you can see down here, DOT Class C. That is a little single shot item. So I'm not sure why it's in here and not in the other one. Uh, this is called an auto fooler and it's a whistling smoke bang. So you attach it to the spark plug. Oh my God. Yeah, this is nuts. These fireworks from back in the day are just crazy. Um, it's of no surprise to me that this stuff was all outlawed. And as you can see, this was ICC Class C. So that's older than DOT. Uh, we've got a bunch of these space flyers here. Just little spinning missiles that go up in the air. I don't think they explode, they just spin. So we've got four of those, it looks like. Uh, down here on the bottom, it looks like we got a fountain called Whistlin' Dixie by Tiger, something Tiger brand. That's pretty interesting. I'm trying to find the DOT sticker on here, but I'm not having any luck. So anyway, it's old. Then we've got this pack of Whistling Chasers here by Red Lantern Fireworks, and these things look like they are as old as can be. Uh, we've got the DOT Class C sticker on there, but pretty cool. So the Whistling Chasers that go around on the ground um, and then they explode at the end, I believe this was like one of the first packs of those to come out. Uh, I've got this here, which came off of a Killer Bee Fountain. I have no idea why it's in the collection, but either way. Then we've got a firecracker here that must have come out of a pack. Uh, we've got this little jet plane, which looks like it's, yeah, that's ICC Class C. Am I saying that right? Yeah, ICC Class C. <laughs> Sounds weird, but that's what it says. A lot, um, these are like old bottle rockets, pretty much. That's the best way to describe them. Uh, we have two small packs of camellia flowers here by Flower Basket, but a lot smaller than the other ones. Uh, we've got this thing, which is pretty wild. So this is called the bird case, or the bird cage, and you're supposed to hang it up on something. That's why there's a string on the top, and I believe it spins and maybe pops something out of the top. Very interesting, definitely a unique firework. Got some stuff here on the bottom. It looks like that must be some sort of trigger for the string See how there's quick fuse under that string? I don't know, this thing has got me wondering. But we're not gonna light it because it's the only one I've got. Then we've got an original whistling Jupiter missile. Um, they used to come like this, even when I bought them at Phantom when I was a kid, this is how I used to get them. Uh, then we've got some really old <laughs> uh, Saturn missiles. This one's missing a fuse and the cap is about ready to fall off, but that one's in pretty good shape. So we've got those. Um, you know those magnum popper things when you, you pull the trigger and confetti comes out? That's what I thought this was, but I'm wrong. This is just called Space Gun, and there's no fuse on the tip, but it looks like that is some sort of composition there on the end that you maybe just light and this thing acts like a flare. But pretty cool, I had to get it. Uh, then I've got this thing which is as old as can be. This is New Jersey Fireworks Manufacturing Company. Um, an auto tire joker. So again, fireworks to be used on vehicles, which is nuts. Such a weird concept. 
Anyway, I think you just run this thing over and it explodes. I could be wrong on that. Uh, we've got a pack of Crazy Jacks by Red Lantern. Get you in up close to that label. It's in some nice packaging here too. Keep it safe. Uh, we've got these. Look at that. So this must be like the first edition Sprite Bombs. This is called the Magic Ball. And um, these are a lot like poppets. As you can see, they're falling apart, so they are super old. But you throw these on the ground, they act like poppets, but they're a bit louder. And we've got a fountain here at the bottom called Butterflies. And this is a DOT Class C Red Lantern. And the thing is really old, the base is super odd. Normally it's a circle, but this one here is like a flower. Very cool. Um, I guess last but not least, because we've got a mini dynamite here and there's an error. So this is like a pyro oddity. They, they made it with two fuses instead of one. So got to hang on to it, of course. You guys probably think I'm nuts. I don't care. I love it. <laughs> this is called cabin smoke. And I think this is in the wrong container because I also have a cabin firework that I think you're supposed to put this in the chimney so it looks like a smoking cabin. And the cabin is like in this foldable box style. Uh, but this is DOT and the cabin is also DOT. So this thing here, I think, belongs with that. But we've got some cool stuff on here. I'll get you up close. Anyway, that is going to do it for the containers. Um, we had three of them in the tote. Uh, as far as things we're going to be testing out, I hate to do a lot of this older stuff. So we're just going to be doing some hand grenades and the matches, which we'll show you here in just a moment. All right, so let's show you what these matches do. Now, it's just like a regular match. You're gonna strike it on this, and hopefully it works. Yeah, look at that. Oops, it's out of frame. I'm gonna have to do a couple more. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see, because um, I'm, of course, looking at this thing so it doesn't burn my hand. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to look at the camera this time. Here we go. Yeah, pretty cool. It's like a mini sparkler. So anyway, that's what the sparkling matches do. We're gonna do one more. Oops, I'm gonna do the other side. Go check it out. Very cool. Surprised they work being as old as they are. Okay, so now we're gonna do some of the hand grenades. Um, I have horrible luck with these, they don't like to actually blow up. Now, this is probably gonna be pretty loud where we're at. Here goes the first one. Oops, gotta sometimes wrap that around your finger. Okay, here goes take three. There we go, we got it. Yeah, they are stupid loud especially for their size and being a pull string. Um, I can't believe that something like this is legal, but I guess if you're safe enough with it. So you really gotta grip this thing. I have, like I said, terrible luck. Let's try to get this one without doing that. It's hard to get your finger in there. Three, two, one. Here goes another one. Sweet. Take two on the last one. Three, two, one. Very nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed the little collectible fireworks video. Like I said, we got a lot more on the way, so stay tuned and we'll see you next time.